Welcome back to Top Fire Repairs. How do you fix P0730 gear ratio in correct? If you're getting P0730 gear ratio code, most likely you have a real transmission problem. You're going to notice the following symptoms. You're going to notice that your transmission is slipping. You're going to notice that your transmission is going to get stuck in a certain gear. For example, it could get stuck in low gear or high gear. And most of these issues you're going to notice, especially when you are driving. The reason why you're getting P0730 code is because the input shaft, which is this part over here, when it is rotating, the uh, speed is not matching with the output shaft. So this part here is the output shaft. So if the output shaft and the input shaft rotational per minute does not match up, you're going to get P0730 gear ratio incorrect code. If you're getting P0730 code, the first thing you should always check is the uh, transmission fluid level. If transmission fluid level is low, you should top off your transmission with transmission fluid. Also, if your transmission fluid is extremely dirty, you should also replace it as well. Furthermore, if the transmission fluid is contaminated, for example, it got contaminated by coolant, this can be caused by a failed transmission cooler. If your transmission cooler fell, it can cause the transmission fluid and coolant to mix together. The next likely problem is going to be caused by a failed input shaft speed sensor or a felt output shaft speed sensor. The input shaft speed sensor is usually mounted around the bell housing area right where the input shaft is at and the output shaft speed sensor is usually mounted on the rear end of the transmission always by the uh, output shaft. So this part here that is where the output shaft was located and the input shaft was located somewhere on the front end of the transmission. The next likely problem is you're going to have a mechanical issue. What you're seeing here is part of the clutch pack and if you look at the clutch you can see that it has friction material on it. It's going to be this part here and if the friction material starts to wear out this can cause your transmission to slip and trigger P0730 code. One way to tell that the friction materials are wearing out on the clutch is going to be that when you check your transmission fluid and it looks very dark in color and you see a lot of this black material or particle floating inside your transmission fluid, that is how you know that the clutch packs are worn out. The next reason why you're getting P0730 code is going to be caused by a bad transmission sensor. This can be caused by a bad shift solenoid, it can be caused by a bad turbine speed sensor, it can be caused by a bad input or output shaft speed sensor, and so on. So make sure to use your scan tool and always check for transmission sensor codes. If you checked everything and you still can't fix the problem, most likely you have internal issue. For example, you could have bad planetary gears, you could have a bad valve body, and so on. If you don't know the symptoms of a bad valve body or how a valve body works, I do have a video for it. I should check it out. I hope you found this video informative. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.